Hello hoppers and welcome to Mucho Hop. The other day when I landed here in Valencia, somebody asked me, excuse me, where are departures? And I said, upstairs. Instinctively, I just said upstairs because I know this airport and normally departures are upstairs and arrivals are downstairs. So I am going to show you the difference between arrivals and departures and what you'll find at each place. And now we're gonna go upstairs where we'll find departures. So there are two obvious things in departures. One is the check-in desks, you see, from different airlines and also the big screen with the departures, with all the flights that are departing that day. So these are the airline desks where you can get your boarding pass if you don't have it, buy a ticket if you need to change something and buy a new ticket, also check in your bag. And you have to go to the desks of the airline you wanna fly with. If you wanna buy a ticket with Lufthansa, you have to go to the desks of Lufthansa, for example, or Iberia, whatever airline you're flying. So you see these are the Vueling check-in desks. I showed you the ones of Ryanair. Here you have the desks of Lufthansa, Swiss Air, Austrian. So you have to look for the one you're flying with. If you want to buy a ticket, sometimes airlines have an actual booth. Check for either one. But remember, these screens also tell you what counter you have to go to, all right? So depending on what flight, the counters will be listed there. So see what I said before, you have also these booths where you can buy tickets from specific airlines. There's Turkish Airlines here, down there there's Swiss and uh, Euro something or another. So there's an area where it says barrier free. You can get wheelchairs there and uh, assistance. In departures they also have some type of uh, cafe. So you could get something to eat or drink but do not, do not buy drinks before you go through security control. I have a video on this. Security control. So people who have boarding passes who are where the gates are and are ready to board the plane, that's called the secure area. So this is departures, but although it's departures, these people are getting off the plane now. They go towards the exit, then baggage claim, and then outside. Once you pass through those doors that I sink when I go through them, then you are leaving the secure area. So let's go over there. You see baggage claim is there, so you get your bags and then you're out the door. You cannot come back in. After you pass these doors, you are now in arrivals. Even though right now I am in departures because I'm about to take a plane, once I pass those doors, I have arrived. I just came off a plane. I go through the exit, I pass these doors. If I wanted to come back in, I would have to scan my boarding pass and I would have to go through security again and the whole bit, okay? So this is like the border.
arrivals hall is where, you know, you come out of the plane, you walk towards the exit, you go to baggage claim, and then you exit. That's the arrivals hall. And you see there's also metro, you can take taxis there, you can take transportation that goes into the city or shuttles that go to other terminals in the airport. Another thing you'll find are the customer service desks. If there's a lot lost luggage, suitcase, if your suitcase hasn't come out, then you could go here, you could ask them. There's also a lost and found over here. So that's what you find downstairs. Usually in big airports, Departures are upstairs, arrivals are downstairs, but not always. In small airports like in Han, uh, Frankfurt Han, or the airport in Coruña, for example, everything's at the same level. Arrivals is on one side, and sometimes arrivals can be at either end of the airport in, um, in uh, Frankfurt Han. And departures can be a different areas too, so it doesn't mean that it's always like that. Normally in big airports it is like that. So here in the Valencia airport first aid is at arrivals, yet in Frankfurt for example it's in departures. So you have to look for these things. Another thing you normally find at arri arrivals, I have to get this straight, arrivals is rent a car. Rent a rent rental a car rental agencies company. Here you could rent a car. There are different companies here, so take your pick. Now this sign here is a meeting point. So if you have to meet people, you can sometimes tell them, "Let's meet at the meeting point." Another thing that's really common at arrivals is information, tourism information. So if you have any questions, any doubts, you just ask there at the tourism office. Sometimes you find machines where you can buy discount tourism cards or discount travel cards. Here, for example, Visit Valencia, you could buy three different cards, 72 hours, 48 hours, or 24 hours. So you have these two and an ATM there. Another thing that's very common is that you'll always find something where you could get a drink or have a snack while you're waiting for your loved one to arrive in the arrivals hall, right? <laughs> So they always have like a snack bar or something like that. There are also screens where you could see what flights are delayed or are on time or have already landed. So look for those. Sometimes you're looking at a screen thinking it's departures and it's arrivals. So make sure you check at the top like I showed you before that it says departures or it says arrivals the difference right a hint is that the arrivals will say landed or delayed or departures it's going to say counter whatever whatever or gate whatever whatever okay let's exit so this is where you enter to meet up with the people who are visiting you. So it's always a very nice occasion. Um, you get to meet your friends and uh, family members. So the taxi stand is here and there's a meeting point P4, P6. So the person who is meeting you, you could tell them I am at P4, P6 meeting point and then they'll know where you are and where to look for you. Sometimes across the street you'll find the parking and also the uh, rental cars. We can find also the bus, buses. Let's go check those out. So this is a bus, it's the 150 that goes from the airport to the city of Valencia. So that's good to know. Every airport is different, so you have to check the signs, okay? Okay, Harper, so as you can see, there's a big difference between arrivals and departures. Keep that in mind. I think it's important to know where you find what, you know? So um, I wanted to show you that, but I hope this video helped you and at least you have an idea of the difference between arrivals and departures. See you. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one real soon. Bye.